Uh, welcome to Sverdnik, which is about one of the uh, greatest traders of all time, a guy called Michael Marcus, uh, featured in the book New Market Wizards, uh, edited by Jack Schwager. Um, so who is Michael Marcus? Well, he's a trader, actually, in terms of managing money. Uh, in 10 years, managed to increase the money under management by 2,500 fold, which is obviously a phenomenal performance. Um, but for many years, when he started trading, um, he was basically losing and not getting anywhere at all. The change from Marcus came when he, he started speaking to legendary trader Ed Sakota. And we've got a video on Ed Sakota, so you can look him up uh, and his trading tips as well. But he said he'd learned from Sakota um, that the, the concept of patience only to wait for those high odds opportunities and not trade too frequently. And he also learned the courage to hold on to winning trades. And yeah, he was saying about Sakota, but just hold on to, to winning trades for much longer than anyone else. Uh, and that's something that I think all traders can learn from. You know, big trends actually do run a lot further um, than many traders think. And it does take considerable courage to hold a big trend, you know, because you've got a big open profit and basically, you know, there's going to be retracements against you and so forth. You've got to have the courage and discipline to hold a big trend. I think, you know, you know in Forex markets, we are losing at least as many trading signals as we win. So to really supercharge our accounts, we do have to get that confidence to hold um, for as long as possible. Now, in terms of the, the best trading setups, he, he makes the point that uh, he likes it when the uh, fundamentals, the technicals, and the tone of the market, as he calls it, all line up together. So the fundamentals are basically, let's say they're bullish, they'll be reflected in a bullish chart setup, and the tone of the market is one which, let's say, is a bull market will shrug off bearish news. Now, many traders like to trade yeah, fundamentally or technically, some like to just look at sentiment. But I think if you do combine all three, um, you do get a trading edge for profit. And also it gives you more confidence. I always think it's easier to hold a big trend, for example, if you know the big fundamentals behind the chart. You know, just looking at the chart, you don't have that confidence as if you know the fundamentals. So I think you know, combining all three disciplines, looking at sentiment, the technicals, and the fundamentals, is a great idea. Now he also makes the point that trend following um, is you know, becoming more and more difficult. And this book was written a while ago and it's become even more difficult today. And the reason for this is just the speed of information, everyone getting the information at the same time. And he makes a point that you know, when you're deciding a trading signal, you know, you've taken a view of the market, you need to ask yourself the question, has the market discounted my idea already? Okay, it might look a great chart setup, but you know, if everyone else has bought already, um, if you come in, then you're going to lose. Doesn't matter how good the chart setup is. So he, he was making the point that you should always question if the market is discounting your, your trading idea, and and basically, yeah, you know, how many traders have seen it? And I've always been in favour of doing this. Um, you know, a lot of people just look at chart setups and it looks great to them. And they don't actually think how it might look to everyone else. It looks great to everyone else. It's probably going to be a losing trading signal. Now, in terms of um, you know, trading discipline, obviously all the great traders are hot on yeah, discipline. And yeah, he makes the point that in terms of risk per trade, you have 5% is the amount that he likes to risk. I think that's a, a, a reasonable amount, actually. You've got to be wrong 20 times on the trot to wipe yourself out, for example. And yeah, he was saying yeah, you should always have your stop in exactly the same time you place your trading order. It's a huge mistake of novices not to do this. If you don't place your stop in straight away, you will be tempted to let a loss run. Mental stops just basically do not work. He also makes the point that um, when you're losing, you need to cut back your trading. And he's saying it becomes a, 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 um, a factor in your mind. You're actually losing, you become pessimistic. And, and it actually affects your judgment. So cut back in losing streaks or stop, have a break, and then come back to the market. You, know, you do get winning and losing streaks in Forex. And that is why um, yeah, money management is the key to success. 
Now, in terms of uh, another great trader uh, who actually came to work with Michael Marcus, it was Bruce Kovanar. And we've done a video on him as well. And he's actually one of my favorite traders. And Marcus was saying that you know, he could see he was a great trader straight away because um, he was just so objective and always questioning everything, not you know, frightened to change his mind. And that is one of the keys uh, you know, to, to trading success is to basically question everything, think of different outcomes, uh, and be very flexible in your thinking. Don't get you know, set in one idea for too long. You know, that leads to complacency. Markets are always changing. And yeah, Marcus is making the point that the, the reason that he thought he was successful was his ability to basically question, be very objective about everything, and do the emotionally uncomfortable things. And by emotionally uncomfortable, like you know, taking losses quickly, you know, knowing basically um, when to stay out in the market, uh, when something looks too obvious, avoiding it, all these sorts of things, are the, the, the uncomfortable things to do. And Richard Dennis, another great trader, makes the point uh, in his trading interview in the same book that you should always do the uncomfortable. If it is too comfortable, it is going to be um, something you shouldn't do because other traders do uncomfortable things. You actually have to do the uncomfortable things. So in terms of Marcus, um, yeah, he's one of the great traders and he does share um, many of the traits of, of Bruce Kovnar and Ed Sakota in terms of being able to follow long-term trends, um, filter trades and basically think outside of the box. I see scenarios that other traders don't see. I'd strongly recommend you go and read uh, the interview market with it. really is very good and so is the book. So thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care. Have a good day.